to the diaries well this week we have got some work to do with the new film project we have um, you know we have all the little little things that I've been doing on the side now we have uh, one of the larger props that we have to do and what this prop is is it's one of the plant props but it's a little bit different than what we've done in the past what we've done in the past we've had you know, the man-eating plants are chomp, chomp, chomp type things. And we still have one of those. Matter of fact, it's in the, uh, it's in the storage unit out there. But what uh, I need to make for this is something a little bit different. <clears throat> what it is, is it's like a pollen spore. It's a big pollen spore that these plants give off in the, um, in the story. And what they do is they attract animals. Generally, they, I mean, they're small enough where they can attract flies and lizards. And then there's a few that get really, really big, and they attract like larger animals and so forth by creating some kind of an interesting sound that the uh, animal is attracted to. It's just some kind of cerebral noise that it makes. And what it does is um, it will engulf whatever the thing that it's attracting in, but it, it, it won't kill it. They don't die. They, like, starve to death. So it takes a long time, and they're just stuck inside this big... Um, pollen spore, which is going to be furry because I've got a lot of fur left over from uh, Weevil Fester, so we're, it's going to be a furry spore. And what's going to happen in our story is a couple of uh, a couple of our heroes are going to get trapped by these things, and they'll they'll get released. So it's not a it's not a monster. It doesn't it doesn't eat anybody, but it um, entraps them. And part of the story, part of this adventure, is how they're you know how they're going to escape this trap. One of them doesn't get caught and he has to figure out how to, how to get the other two out. And the other two are being totally uncooperative because once they're inside that thing, all they want to do is, is go to sleep and just never wake up. So, um, the long story short, I know, too late for that, um, is we have to make one of the spores. Now, the smaller spores um, are going to be easy to do. They're going to be miniatures and um, we're going to, I'm going to green screen those, uh, but the bigger ones are the, the big props are going to be the tougher ones to do. And I have an idea on how to make it so it, it will look good without looking too, you know, goofy phony. Uh, well, it is goofy phony, but you get my point. Anyway, that's part of what we're going to do. We have to build those. So I have to go down to the hardware store and pick up a bunch of 45 degree PVC angles uh, because we want the thing to be kind of when we build it, it's going to be kind of like, uh, you know, hexadecimal or polygon. It's going to be a polygon shape. And then when we cover it with the fur, it'll be more round. So it's supposed to be kind of a kind of a oval, flat, rounded type. An oval, flat, rounded type. Huh? Is that covering all the, is that covering all the bases? I think so. It's a oblong but rounded um, type of a spore. And... Uh, I need to, you know, make it like, because when we cover it with the fur, it'll be, you know, you won't see all the angles and everything. You won't see all the polygons and everything. And um, we have a couple of other things that is going to be going on in this particular episode. And so, um, last week, I hope you watched last week's. I know it was a long video, but it was an awful lot of fun going out to the zoo and taking you guys with me because I don't get the opportunity to go to these things very often. I'm going by myself. So when I take you guys with me, even though I'm just taking the camera, it's like going with friends, you know? So it, it was it, it was really fun. And um, we have some more road trips coming up, but not on this episode. This episode, we got work to do right here. Right here. Here. So uh, without any further ado, let's get going! Okay, well I got the PVC stuff that I need. I got half inch, one quarter elbows. 
16. And we got half inch PVC tees. Eight of those. Now, I wound up going to Home Depot, which is where I generally go to get most of the stuff. But we recently had a hardware store open um, just on the other side of the wall of the complex that I live in. And uh, I don't want to mention names, of course, because uh, that wouldn't be helpful for their hardware, man. So um, I will tell you this. I went there first because it's close by. And those um, PVC 45s were 99 cents a pop. 99 cents a pop. So I went to Home Depot where they were, uh, what were they, 49 cents a pop, I think? Or 59 cents a pop. Let's see, I'm gonna look on the receipt right here, which I have in my mubby grits. It's 65 cents a pop. Anyway, you look at it, it was 34 cents each cheaper. And I had to get 16 of those. So I probably saved about $8. Let me rephrase that. I didn't spend about $8. Um, because the others, they were literally a dollar a piece. So it would have been $16 for just, you know, the 16 that I got. With everything I got, came out to about 14 bucks. So, you know, sometimes you have to go a little further. That place is more convenient because it's close. You know, if, if it comes right down to it and I need one or two of these items while I'm working because I forgot something, I'll go there. But uh, when I have to buy a whole bunch of them, that's not the place to go for me. Maybe for you, not for me. But in any case, so now I have those parts. But this is the thing. It's um, October, what is it? October 4th? October 4th, October 5th. It's October 4th. October 4th. So uh, the sun goes down a little earlier. It's uh, a little bit after 6 right now. And the sun is down. It's, it's down. It's really down. So... Um, I do this work out on the porch. So if I want to go out on the Adventureland porch and work on it, it's all well and good. But I'm going to be doing it under mood lighting because I don't have regular lights out there. So I'm going to have to put this off until tomorrow afternoon. Uh, when I get home from work, I can hop right on it and uh, I will film that for you all. So that's what's going on uh, so far. Uh, that would be not much, really. Okay, as you can see down here, I got some scraps. Because I decided I had to go half inch instead of quarter inch. And I have lots of long pieces of three-quarter inch. Sorry, man, three-quarter, not one-quarter. But I have plenty of pieces of long three-quarter inch. But I only have these short ones and a green one for half inch. Now, actually, this should be enough to do it. But if not, I'll have to pick up some more. And then the old tentacle here needs to be repaired. Because I definitely need it for this prop. It's a very, it's a, it's falling over. There we go. It's a very important part of the prop, and it is broken right there and there. So I got to fix that. So I think I'll start with this thing because this I can do tonight, and this I will have to wait till the weekend. I think. Okay, so if you're wondering what's wrong with the tentacle, for one thing, the cable is really really tight so it doesn't want to pull in see it doesn't want to pull in this part down here being abstentious I think I just made that word up but the big problem is right here see this straightens out and this straightens out but this goes all the way backward it's not supposed to it only goes that far forward and it's only supposed to go about that far when it's up and it's going way back here so, the back end of this hinge joint, the connection, has been severed, broken, damaged, and I have to fix it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So what we must do here is tentacolytic surgery. We must open this and find the broken tendon and repair it or replace it. This must be handled very carefully as we do not wish to damage the tentacle any more than it already is. And besides, the fur will go pina all over the place again. So we're going to be very careful and cut 
only where there is a seam. Ah, here we go. There's the hinge. There we go. All right. Now this has all been where you can't see it. So I'll show you. Okay, so right here is the hinge. See, there's the hinge. And it's designed to close this way. Can't see it because it goes off the camera, but it's designed to close this way. Okay? But it can't open any wider than that. So, if you're looking, I'm going to have to cut this open a little more. Try to do it without getting fur all over the place. There we go. So, if you look, you can see the. Uh, see right there. There's the PVC, and you see it's cut in an angle, so it'll close at an angle. But it needs to not be able to open any wider than this. So, we have a line that goes from here to here and it's basically it's a um, it's a wire tie that keeps it from opening too far so I need to replace the wire tie and it's hard to tell but there's a little hole right there and a little hole right there that the wire tie goes through and that's what holds it in place go and we want to clip this because we don't want it to accidentally pull any tighter so we're going to clip it right at the end here there we go okay okay this new end works perfectly so I can just glue that unfortunately this end suddenly decided to do the same thing so I got to replace it also so I guess I'll be working on this for a little while but I won't drag you along for the ride. <laughs> Ta-da! So it works. And it works really good. And I'm very happy about that. Here, I'll show you again, just in case you didn't see it. Yeah! Perfect. All right, then. I'm out on the adventure land porch about to work on the spore or the movie. So the first thing <coughs> is I need to make sure I've got this. And I think I do, but I could be wrong. So I'm gonna check this and then I have to measure out the lengths. I'll show you exactly how it's gonna go together. Alright, we're gonna do make the base for the spore. Now remember the spore is supposed to be somewhat like uh, somewhat spherical but we're using straight edges so it's going to be more of a polygon once we cover it with the fur of course it will look more spherical i keep saying we i feel like i'm the queen of england or something anyway they're done <laughs> these need to be approximately a foot and a half long from end to end Yeah, how's that for really being a really lousy length? I think I may have to get more PVC. Anyway, there's one. I can probably get four there. Yeah. I think we'll take a trip over to, unfortunately, the expensive part of our store and pick up another piece of PVC because I do not have enough here. And I knew that before I started, too. Okay, so I picked up 
two 10 foot pieces of half inch PVC, which will work for this. And I went to the place nearby, and it was probably about 50 cents, maybe 70 cents a piece more for the two sections. But in this instance, it's not a big deal because that's only like a buck 20, and it saved me driving all the way down to Home Depot. So we'll go with that today. So now I have to measure out foot and a half inch lengths and cut out the first part. And these are 10 feet long. So I don't know how I'm going to do that in here because I don't have 10 feet to work in. But we'll work it out one way or the other. Okay, well I have my eight pieces of foot and a half PVC here. And I have my 45 degree corn angle here. stop sign when we're done. Okay, here's the next eight pieces that we need. And as you can see, they are cut precisely, almost exactly the same length, sort of, kind of. This is for the top ring, which I'm going to put together right now. Okay, there's the upper ring, which is the smaller one, the lower ring, which is the bigger one. And they're just pushed together right now. They're not secured. And when I go to put these parts together, um, the frames, of course, will be secured. They will be they, they will have the PVC cement hold them in place. But the pieces that put these two together, so one is higher than the other, that will not be glued because this needs to be able to be transported. So it can't uh, it can't be its full size when transporting. And basically what will happen is the uh, the fur will cover the top of it, but it's not secured to it. Only the center part is secured, because that's where the part where the person falls in is going to be. So that needs to be secured. The rest can just sit over the top of it. And my firefly is going crazy over here. Well, now that I said something, he's not going to move. He was freaking out earlier. Hello. No, yeah, whatever. 
Well, we've come to a bit of a standstill on the prop, the standstill stemming from, try saying that, the standstill stemming from the fact that I have to get the fur. And I have just remembered that the place that I get the fur is not open on Sunday, which is tomorrow. So it's too late to go get it now. Also, I have a crock pot going, which I can't just leave it there because I'm funny that way. So uh, I guess that's it for, on working on that particular prop for right now. But um, when I get the fur, then we'll go back and we'll see the rest of it. It's not going to be the most amazing thing you've ever seen, but it ought to be interesting at least. I'm trying to think of some ways I can make it a little bit more interesting. So uh, I need to work on one of the games that I'm, I have to have a demo for. And uh, I have to get my some of my cast in here to do uh, their costume set or fittings. I've only had uh, I've only had one come in and take care of that, and we got to get the rest of it. Fortunately, the three main characters are wearing just what clothes they have because they are from the here and now. But everybody else is in garb, so I have to take care of that. I want to tell you something about soda. It's time for Eddie's Weekly Grind! Yeah! I am a fan of soda. I like soda. I drink soda. I also drink water, and I drink milk, and I drink tea. But I do love soda. And um, there are two types, main types of soda. There's cola, and then there's lemon lime. And uh, cola could be, you know, Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, whatever. Uh, and then lemon lime, of course, you know, 7-Up, Sprite, it's whatever. But the thing that I discovered that if you open a bottle of cola, you open a bottle of like Dr. Pepper, Mr. Pip, you open uh, a bottle of orange soda, grape soda, pineapple soda, you open a bottle of Sprite, Sprite all over the place. That stuff is volatile. They could probably use it to power one of the next moon shots. If we do, we still go to the moon. I don't even know if we still go to the moon anymore. But I mean, it's like it got super, super carbonated. I don't understand why Sprite and and Sierra Mist and things like that are so super carbonated. It's like an insane amount. And, you know, Sprite, um, which I used to like quite a bit. There was a Diet Sprite, and Diet Sprite tastes like blech. So just recently they had released Sprite Zero, and Coke Zero is really good. I really like Coke Zero, so I tried Sprite Zero. Sprite Zero is Diet Sprite with a new label, and it tastes like blah. So that's just my opinion. I'm not promoting <laughs> sodas, obviously. Anyway, um, so let's get on to some other things, shall we? Okay, I'm doing something that's very... I had to bend down a little bit because I want you to see. I'm doing something that's very unusual for me. I am making my dinner in a crock pot. Okay? Now, I only have only used a crock pot like four times because cooking in a crock pot, it takes all day. And you kind of have to be around in case the thing explodes, you see? So, I am making my dinner in a crock pot and it's a... Um, it's a chicken and noodle type casserole. And this has been in here for not quite three hours. And it still has another three hours to go before I put in the pasta, the egg noodles. And then it goes for another hour. So let's see, what time is it? It's 4.36. I'll be having dinner late tonight, let me tell you. but. There's going to be plenty in here, so I'm hoping it's going to be really good, because if it's really good, I have lots of leftovers for later, you see? So, um, and it's, uh, yes, it smells right. I'd show it to you, but there's really not much to see right now. Basically, what it is, is this two boneless, skinless chicken breasts, um, in the pot of uh, chicken consomme, and cream of chicken soup and butter. That's basically it. And it's sitting here and it's going to get to the point where the chicken can be pulled apart. And then we'll add the noodles and a little bit of seasoning and let it sit for another hour or so. And uh, we'll see what happens. And here, because I know you're curious, take a lid off for a second. 
not much to see. There's one of the chicken breasts. And there's the other chicken breast right there. I'll tell you what, it smells pretty good. Yum. Well, apparently I forgot to have the camera running when I tore the chicken up, but let me show you that it came apart just perfect. And now I have to drain the noodles and put them in. And then it gets to cook for another hour! Yay! Alright, this is on for about 44 minutes. Looks good. And in 44 minutes I will put in the corn. And then 15 more minutes and then it will be ready! And it's only 7.56 in the evening! Yay! Okay, here we go. Shush! Okay, here we go. I got my corn on the side here. Looking pretty good. My bowl. It's keep me going for a while if it's any good here we are Oh my gosh. Yep, it's good. Oh man, that's good. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's my new six hour thing or seven hour thing to do. I guess I should start it earlier in the day though. All right, good stuff. Well, that was kind of a hot mess, wasn't it? Yeah, these last two weeks have been kind of crazy to start with. So um, it was a you you were seeing quite a little bit that uh, I kind of had to conglomerate together uh, to make for this week's. Um, next week should be we should be back to our regular, you know, insane normalcy, um, or the next week and a half. I know it's been a while since the last shoot, which was at the zoo, but. Sometimes these things happen, um, but as you saw, there was a little clip there with uh, filming uh, a scene from the new film, so I'll give you more about that also next week, and uh, some other things that we're going to do, and I'll try to make it a little bit more uh, coherent, <laughs> or cohesive at least, so you will uh, kind of get a better idea of what's going on. So that'll be happening next week. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a great week, end of line.